That's right, mobile gamers that want to play Java Minecraft on their Android device. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Amethyst. It's a launcher for your Android device to play Java Minecraft. First, you're going to navigate to this nightly link, which is in the description below. This is a GitHub nightly link for now. They do plan on getting this on Google Play eventually, but for now, this is the way that we can get it. You're going to click on the one that's right beside the app debug and wait for it to download. And then you're going to go into your downloads and extract the zip file. Now click on that zip file, click on it again, long press on that app dash debug APK and extract it somewhere on your device. I'm going to extract it into my folder and now I'm going to click on this APK file, click continue, click install. The very important thing here, guys, is that you need to have your Microsoft account that owns Java Minecraft. Otherwise, you won't be able to play Java Minecraft without even actually owning the game. So that's going to be very much emphasized right at the beginning. Go buy the game. You need to buy it to play it. Very straightforward. Otherwise, you can't do anything. Now click allow and now you're going to click on add account and add your Microsoft account. Now I'm going to do this all off screen. And there you go, my username in the top left hand side, Mr. DNA, that tells me that I can play the game. Now the first thing you're going to take note of here is the settings icon on the top right hand side, click on it. Now you're going to notice something called a video and render. This is very important. Video and render, extra render settings. Now max GLS cache size, you definitely don't need to really change this too often, but if your device has enough storage, you can change this if you want. And mine does, I'm gonna change this to 512 megabytes, but honestly, you don't really need to touch this too much. If your device has a Mali GPU, you might benefit from using the angle driver, okay? Mine has a Snapdragon GPU, so I'm going to disable this. And mine is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I'm using the AYN Odin 2 for anybody that likes to ask, What is your phone, bro? I don't know why people ask that all the time, but yeah. So now you're going to scroll down, keep going, keep going. Take note of all these other options here. So like if you have a Mali GPU and you're playing on like 1.2, 1.7 and above, you need to click on this angle option only so that your hand doesn't go through walls and stuff now the other thing that i like to turn on is this advertise experimental opengl extension advertise experimental compute shader extension i like to turn these two on because these two features work for me you can turn them off if they don't seem like they're doing much then turn them off it's up to you now that's just basically it for mobile glues now mobile glues is a render that helps render the graphics for anything above 1.17 click back take note of that as well make sure you listen if you don't listen to the guide and say this isn't working for you then that is not my fault resolution scaler so that's your resolution of the actual graphics on screen i like to set this to 75 percent the lower the resolution does boost performance a bit but then you're also getting into the factor that you're not going to see the graphics very good that's all i'm going to say about that now i'm going to turn off this feature down here i'm going to click on this feature right here enable sustained performance which makes it so that your device doesn't thermal throttle and your device will get a stable performance and that's about it now click back now you can go to your control customizations if you want you can go to your java tweaks if you want and that's all i'm going to say about that for now um basically if your device has eight gigs of ram you can get away with setting this allocation size to about three gigs if your device has 12 gigs like mine does i set it to about four gigs if your device has 16 gigs you can almost get away with seven to eight gigs depending on your device and that's all i'm going to say about the memory allocation if you've come here from the pc and wanted to play on your android and you know a lot about that kind of stuff then some mod packs are required for this to work Click back, miscellaneous settings, don't really touch that, nothing in there for you, and allow microphone. Yes, I wanna allow the microphone to be working, and that's about it. So let's go back, now let's click on a version. Now I'm gonna click on the latest version, click the pencil icon, select the latest release as of today, and I'm gonna make sure that I select the mobile glues render. Now, any versions below 1.17, you use the holy renderer. Sometimes it doesn't automatically select the right renderer. I don't know why, but maybe that's just because of updates. Otherwise, let's just click play and wait for this one task or two tasks to be in progress, to be finished, and then we can jump into the game. 
Now, if you're using a controller, which you can, you can use a controller without any controller mods, which you can use controller mods, by the way, then I'm going to let you know right away that it will ask you to set up your controller before you actually get into the game, which is what it's going to happen in a few seconds. And now I'm going to press my joystick. And as you can see here, an on-screen button mapper is going to pop up. So I'm going to press the corresponding buttons for my A, B, X, and Y, start and select. Some people might ask me, how do you play with a controller? And I'm going to tell them, well, it's pretty easy. You can play with the controller and touchscreen at the same time, which is freaking awesome. I love playing with the touch and the controller at the same time. Now, you can go ahead and change your render distance and all that fun stuff. This device can get away with 12 chunks without having any thermal throttling, that fancy graphics, smooth lighting, V-Sync turned on, and all that fun jazz. Now, that's going to be for other videos as well, but I'm just going to let you know that's how I set up this device because this device is pretty powerful, and I can also turn down the Biome Blend as well. Now, again, if you came here from the computer, you probably know about all that kind of stuff, but again, that is basically it. Now, let's just jump in and enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition on our Android device because you can do so. It's very freaking awesome to be able to play on an Android device, especially with newer Android devices coming out very soon, and you can enjoy just using the joystick. You can enjoy using the touchscreen. Now, I think I set up my buttons wrong so if you have that problem well that'll be for another video but as you can see here my joystick's just working and uh yeah all my buttons are working but i think i set up my joystick incorrectly and if that happens then you just basically click the settings icon on the top middle of the screen go to force close you can go back into amethyst go to your settings go to your control customizations and then you can basically go with the reset controller option. So go like this, and then you can set up your controls just like so. Have a nice day. Enjoy playing with Amethyst, which is a launcher that allows you to play Java Minecraft on your Android phone or your Android gaming handheld like the AYN Odin 2, which is a device I highly recommend you to get if you're in the market for a Android gaming handheld.